Pope Francis celebrated Mass in St. Peter's Basilica on World Day for Consecrated Life, which is celebrated on the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. As is customary, the celebration began in darkness, with the assembly holding small candles for light. Pope Francis sat down as soon as he got to the celebrant's chair. In past years, he would remain standing. The change was possibly due to his leg and back problems. Hundreds of men and women religious were present. It was to them that the Pope dedicated his homily, prompting them to reflect on different aspects of their vocation. He asked men and women religious to reflect on their own vision of consecrated life, which society often deems useless. Il mondo spesso la vede come uno spreco. Ma guarda, quel ragazzo così bravo mettersi a frate. Quella ragazza così brava mettersi a suora. È uno spreco. Se almeno fosse brutto o brutta, no, sono bravi, ma è uno spreco. Così pensiamo noi. Lo vediamo come una realtà del passato, forse, o qualcosa di inutile. Ma noi, comunità cristiana, religiose e religiosi, che cosa beviamo? The liturgy of the Eucharist was especially significant as Pope Francis and Armenian Catholic Patriarch Raphael Bedros XXI Manassian celebrated it together. In September of 2021, the Pope granted the Patriarch the ecclesiastical communion he requested. It is customary for newly elected Patriarchs of Catholic Eastern Churches to ask the head of the Roman Catholic Church for this official recognition. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now. Download the Rome Reports app and follow Pope Francis everywhere.